Hello guys, my name is Priyank and you are tuning to the Kuju classes for the first episode Lightning spell everything you need to know. So first ever, what is the lightning spell? Lightning spell is the first spell unlocked in the Clash of Clan at Town Hall 5. So whenever you get it, it is unlocked at the Town Hall 5 as soon as you built in Spell Factory. So as soon as you finish the construction of Spell Factory, you will get the lightning spell in your Spell Factory. It has a spell radius of 4 tires, blue time of 6 minutes, number of balls 6, housing space of 2 and damage type of blast. Now the behavior of this lightning spell, it do direct damage to the buildings and troops in the battlefield at certain area of strike. So it do damage to the troops, means uh, CC troops, heroes, buildings like defense buildings, town hall, collectors and heroes with archer queen, barbarian king and grand warden. But it does not damage the storages including Cold storage, elixir storage, and dark elixir storage. It strikes 6 volts of lightning and each of them does 1 sixth of the area damage of total spell damage. So the level 1 lightning spell has total damage of 300 in which the, every strike of the lightning bolt does the damage of 50 in a 1.5 tile radius. As you can see, I have tested the lightning spell couple of times on the same place. So the first one do the six strikes, second one also do the six strikes. It's an obvious thing. But the first one and second one does not have any pattern relation. I have tried this about 20 times, but no one ever found the match. Now, the major use of the lightning spell, CC troops. Town Hall 5, Town Hall 6 and Town Hall 7. You don't have the spell factory. You don't have a spell capacity in your CC, so you have no poison spell. In this case, the CC troops are major enemy at your raid. If you can't handle the CC troops very well, it will simply ruin your raid and do attack as a failure. So, dealing the CC troops, lightning spell is the best option. Now, second, air defense for an air raid. Air raid is a raid in which you are use maximum of your troops for air like lava hound dragons balloons minions etc etc in this case air defense is the major unit we do highest damage per second in air category so air defense for air raids are simply zapped by a couple of lightning spell with help of earthquake or three of the lightning spell so town hall 7 it is popular that you drop three lightning spell on an air defense and on other side you drop all the dragons now mortar fall bars Bars is a technique in which you use only barbarian and archer for the purpose of farming in which the mortar is the biggest enemy it have a highest radius and tremendous amount of splash damage if your barbarian is same as your mortar level it can double shot and if your archer is same as the mortar level it can single shot town hall if your HP is less than 10% this is the case in which your town hall have hit point less than 10% and you can drop the lightning spell to clear it out. Now the builder hurt for 50% damage. This is the case in which you are using a lightning spell of 5, 6 or 7 to clear a building hurt to get a 50% and got a single star or a second star. Now collectors for loot. You can't zap the storages but you can collect it. So the zapping dark elixir storages is not possible nowadays but you can actually zap the dark elixir drill for maximum amount of dark electrical loot. Now let's talk about the state at each level of lightning spell. At level 1 it is going to brew in a cost of 15,000 and it can damage of 300. At level 2 it goes to 1600 and 5000 and damage has been risen to 330. At the level 3 it goes to the 80,000 and the damage has been increased to 360. Now at the level 4, the brew cost is 20,000, damage is 390. At the level 5, it rises to the 22,000, damage has been increased to 450. At the level 6, it has been going to 24,000 with the damage of 510. And on the finally max out level, it will cost you 26,000 elixir for the damage of 570. Now talk about the upgrading cost and the laboratory level required. So to upgrade your lightning spell to level 2, 
you require the level 1 laboratory which can be built at the town hall 4 and 20,000 of elixir now for level 3 you require 50,000 of elixir and laboratory level 2 which can be built at the town hall sorry upgraded at the town hall level 5 now for level 4 you require 100,000 of elixir and laboratory level 3 which can be upgraded at town hall level 6 to level to upgrade your lightning spell to level 5 required 200,000 of the legs here which can be upgraded at the laboratory level 6 which can be upgraded by town hall level 8 now at the town hall level 9 you get the laboratory level 7 and on the laboratory level 7 you can upgrade your lighting spell to level 6 with 6 million of the legs here at the 8 million of the legs here you can upgrade your lighting spell to the max level of 7 at the laboratory level 8 this is the scenario of town hall 6 in which you are able to destroy monster of level 4 with two level 4 lightning spell this is the situation in which one far away motor which is going to be destroyed by the two of the lightning spell and the motor of a close one or in which you are attacking is going to destroy by the barge itself or by the cc wizards or hog riders so it is a one more best strategy at town hall 7 you are able to destroy air defense of level 5 with 3 level 4 lightning spell 3 lightning spell of level 4 or an on an air defense and it is gone now the remaining 2 air defense which has to be cleared by the dragons and balloon in the cc town hall 8 is a bit difficult for air raids but the case where you are using your level 3 dragons against your opponent in a war or in a loot to get a successful 2 star for a rigid 2 star attack you can actually destroy air defense of level 6 with 2 level 5 lightning spell and level 1 earthquake spell it allows you to add a one more red spell in your army which can dramatically improve your dragon's performance now let's talk about the town hall 9 in which you are able to destroy air defense of level 7 with 2 level 6 lightning spell and level 4 of the earthquake spell this is the case whenever you unlock the lava hound whenever you caught the level 6 of balloons and you can upgrade he your heroes to level 30 so this is the case where we are going to start the powerful air raid at town hall 10 you are able to destroy air defense of level 8 with 2 level 7 lightning spell and level 4 of the earthquake spell so at the town hall 10 the La Loon is the most popular strategy to 3 star these days with a hybrid of either Hogs or either Suicidal Heroes or on Queen Walk. Now at Town Hall 11 you are able to destroy air defense of level 9 with 2 level 7 lightning spell and level 4 earthquake spell. So imagine in a zap crack strategy you can actually destroy 2 air defense with the zap and couple of them with the archer queen. And now imagine how your balloon can destroy your opponent's base. This is the special tip which I do not recommend to use in our game mechanics cause 5 of max lightning spell of level 7 can take out town hall 6 and lower. So town hall level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 it can be destroyed by 5 of the level 7 lightning spell. But by using the 6 spell of CC in case of town hall 11 you can house the 6 spell of lightning spell in your CC you can actually snipe the town hall of level 7. This is the hit to kill table for the air defense versus the lightning spell. Enjoy it. Once again, thanks for watching, stay tuned, the Kuju Clasher, peace out.